Well, I was born in Richmond, Virginia in 1937, and I grew up in the west end of Richmond in Henrico County near the James River. My parents were very supportive but very strict. They were great believers in working, they were great believers in behaving, and they expected a lot of their children. My father was originally with Millen Roads, as was my grandfather, and so he was mostly uh, in the retail business all of his life. He retired from Mullen Roads and a neighbor of ours owned Richmond Coal Storage and passed away at a very young age. And his wife asked my father to bid on this business, which was not doing well. And he bid on it and got it and then didn't know what really to do with it. At 12 years old, I got thrown into an ice plant and I learned how to deal with 300 pound blocks of ice and very cold conditions and riding on the back of trucks and delivering ice all over the city of Richmond. I was drafted. Uh, my Uncle Sam was kind enough to think that I needed to go in the service, and I went to photography school up in Fort Monmouth, New Jersey, and then they uh, sent me to Germany to do aerial reconnaissance of the East German Czechoslovakian borders. And then to add to that excitement, uh, Elvis Presley shows up. They chose us to have to look after him and take pictures and make sure nobody got pictures of him that weren't attractive or, or looked good for the military. So I had to spend quite a bit of time with Elvis and to keep him, uh, make him look good. So we had some great stories about Elvis to tell. So when I got out in my brilliance, um, I convinced the Army to give me a pass to take a later flight home when I decided to, to come back to the United States. So um, they put me on a, a prison ship. I spent almost 10 days with a ship full of prisoners who were not happy about going to Leavenworth. And that was an experience to behold. I was lucky I got off that ship. I came back and got involved with the, with the company. And um, it, was, uh, it was difficult because the company wasn't doing real well and my father wasn't doing well. So, so we, we were having a hard time making, making ends meet. So we had to make a lot of changes in personnel and that kind of thing. We grew very, very fast. And, um, but we grew with a good customer base and good friends and good people that helped us uh, make this transition from an old broken down operation to new more modern facilities. People liked us because they could trust us. They knew if we told them something was gonna happen, it happened. But it was a lot of luck. It was a lot of being in the right place at the right time and, and having good friends and people that had faith in you. You know, We had to borrow money that we didn't know whether we were gonna repay or not and people were kind enough to lend it to us and say, go for it. When we were first married, though, it was kind of touch and go. I mean, we were, we know what it's like to have to skimp and be careful and, and watch a little bit, but we have been very fortunate, and so, which is why we've liked to be able to give back. Well, Randolph-Macon came to me, I don't know, 20 years ago, and it's been one of the greatest experiences of my life because I like children. I've worked with children all my life. I love working with the students. I love working with children, and, and I have really enjoyed it. We have a community service award that we give to students that are heavily involved in community affairs because we feel it's our place to give back to the people that have given to us and aren't as fortunate as we've been. We really enjoy it because we see these students just blossom for doing p things for other people. You know, I always tell them that if you have a bad day or you're in a funk, go do something for somebody else and you'd be surprised how quickly you'll feel so much better. We've got one little granddaughter who, whom he texts every morning before she goes to school to tell her to have a happy day. And she and her friends just think it is the most wonderful thing that a granddaddy is texting. Probably being surrounded by good people. I think that's the key to my success. I, was, I surrounded myself with the finest people that I could find. The most important thing, I think, is being a people person. I think being a people person, doing for others, did more to help my career than anything else.